Hey, this is Old Man Metal, and welcome to the latest in a seemingly interminable series of videos testing various tweaks, changes, and manipulations to my studio setup. I have not done one of these in a while, been happy with the way things are. I am now um, messing with things because I'm adding an overhead shot. want to be able to uh, do a, a complete overhead shot from direct overhead of my work surface for some things that I want to do, so getting that set up. This is about the fifth video that I've done. Um, testing different things, getting different things um, tweaked. So we're going to see how things go. And um, our test beer, as I get used to working in multiple dimensions, and I'm going to back the zoom out a little bit. Let's see if I can do a beer pour inside this three-dimensional box I've got to work in. Get it on both cameras. This is um, Hellstar from Burial in Asheville. It is a Dunkel Munich Lager. It, that is the darkest of the um, historical regional brown ale styles in Germany, or brown lager rather. It's not an ale, it's a lager. Um, so, very good beer. Got to have something to drink while I'm testing things. So, that's what we've got. And cheers. Burial always does um, two different pieces of artwork on their cans. Or not always, but usually there's uh, one on one side and one on the other. And we've talked about that. And I've actually featured this as a show beer um, with one of my episodes. So anyhow, got to have something to drink while I'm testing, while I'm working. So that's what it is. And we'll put my old man glasses on so I can see what I'm doing on my monitor here. And we're just going to try a few things out and um, test what we can do with this camera, or what this camera can do. The main thing I'm concerned about is the lighting. Is the lighting good enough? Um, I've convinced myself that the camera can do what I want it to do. Um, so this is the Benchmade Nakamura uh, 44S. I did an episode about that. If you've been watching, you know what that is. Um, my everyday carry knife uh, for the last few years. I'm going to back out. Ah. And Again, try to get in that imaginary box where I'm um, in both at the same time, which most of the time isn't going to be necessary, but you know, I just want to see what it looks like. So, zoom in a little bit. And, and the thing I like about this camera, it's got dynamic zoom. The harder you push it, the faster it zooms. The slower you push it, the slower it zooms and it's actually got a nice smooth zoom on it. Um, I do like that. Um, sensor's not the best in the world, that's why I had lighting issues and there it just went past the limit of the focus. So The sensor, uh, like I said, is not the best in the world so I um, have had some issues with that. I had to do some extra lighting. It was too noisy. I was using just uh, trying to light the work surface with ambient spill from the key and the fill lights, and that just did not work. Um, so let's see what we can do with this. This is a um, a little uh, acrylic uh, three-dimensional bubble level um, that's made to go on a camera. It's built with a, uh, as you can see right there, it's built uh, to mount on a hat, on a hot shoe. And so it's a handy thing to have to uh, make sure your cameras are leveled. And I had it sitting around. I said, well, that'd be a good thing to see if it can focus on that, how well it can focus on that. Um, one of the last tweaks I made was shifting the lighting around. I had my extra lighting overhead, and it was uh, glaring off of this. So glad to see I've got that fixed at least. So and that's pretty good. That zoomed in pretty good. I mean, pull back and you'll see, you know, that's all the way back. So... Um, so that looks good. So, got uh, about six minutes worth of footage. It should let me see what I want to see. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm going to get this footage into editing, see how it goes, see how it looks, and uh, hopefully it's going to work out. I'm going to be happy with it, and we'll go from there. Y'all take care. Oh.